He hit a two bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Yeah, he did a great job to go. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. I'll tell you, guys are scrambling in the dugout to get to the plate now, and I can't blame them. Seem like everyone's getting in on the action. That's the seventh home run of the game. When it rains, it pours, I guess. hits one error in the game for the Mets thus far oh high deep that is a moonshot folks a long home run So it's a two-run shot to right center, his second home run of the game, as they've widened this lead to eight now. These guys are really putting on a show here. That dinger brings the total up to five for the game so far. Amazing stuff today, guys. Yeah, Matty V. How about this, D. Rowe? If you come to watch offense, you pick the right game to come and see. McNeil, a 27-year-old, he was a 12th round selection back in the draft. Of There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly, just like that, they take the lead. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted high and deep into the bleachers and gone. So a three run shot to left center, and the Mets have taken a three to nothing lead. Yeah, he's looked pretty shaky from the first pitch, and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. I think these guys smelled blood in the water, and they punctuated with a three-run job and an early lead. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues. But when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result Cano connects as this is to deep right field and that ball will stay fair and it's gone a home run A two-run shot here for Robinson Cano as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. Way to 100 pitches. Here it is. Number 30. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. 
gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run there for Michael Conforto as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Cano, the runner at first with two gone. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left, no chance at bringing this one back. On to Lansdowne and gone. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. His second of the game as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Much trouble for the second out. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, they think they may have gotten him again. This one's hit deep to left field. And for the second time in the inning, the gopher ball will come back to bite him. It's a home run. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. for ball one. Now Ramos with a swing and a deep drive to left. Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. A solo shot here to left as they've widened this lead to eight now. I'll tell you, guys are scrambling in the dugout to get to the plate now, and I can't blame them. Seem like everyone's getting in on the action. That's the seventh home run of the game. When it rains, it pours, I guess.